Introduction to Qt Quick and QML. In this section, we will start our journey to learn about developing Qt Quick applications. You will get an introduction to this new world first. Then you will dive into the designing part, followed by the language QML. Introduction to Qt Quick and QML. In this video, you are going to learn what QML is and what Qt Quick is, the difference between Qt Quick application and Qt Widgets application will be then covered. So, what is QML? It's a Qt specific JSON like declarative language that allows user interface to be described in terms of their visual components and how they interact and relate with each other. The QML engine also supports JavaScript, which means the logic part can also be implemented in QML. Although the more common usage is to put the heavy lifting task in the C++ libraries. Lastly, the dynamic property binding is a very handy feature of QML that sets programmers free when it comes to updating properties values. We will see how it works in details in the following videos. When we talk about QML, it's almost certain in a context with Qt Quick. Qt Quick is the standard library of types and functionalities for QML. Its philosophy is to bridge the gap between developers and the designers so that they can work on the same sources. The QML language makes sure prototyping user interface is rapid and easy. Qt Quick applications are also very suitable for cross-platform applications development. QML itself is cross-platform because it solely depends on Qt framework which is available on most platforms. Qt Quick application might sound like an alien, but it is built on top of familiar Qt technologies. The differences between the two are mostly because of the declarative QML. In Qt Quick, the UI is written in QML, though you can also design it in Qt Design. By contrast, the Qt UI file is basically the only way to design user interface in Qt Widgets application development. Technically speaking, the UI file is in XML format, but you should never edit it directly. In terms of imperative languages, you can use JavaScript seamlessly in QML and use native Qt and C++ in the library, or say, module. Meanwhile, Qt Widgets application is a C++ application, and C++ is the language to go. Both Qt Quick application and Qt Widgets application are cross-platform, but Qt Quick's highly fluid interface is much more suitable for mobile development. It is also much faster to do UI prototyping in Qt Quick than Qt Widgets. The freedom to make custom widgets or components are also much greater in Qt Quick. As a relatively new Qt technology, you may find some APIs missing in QML. You can always make a C++ module and use it in QML to work around this limitation though. 